Mac is phenomenal. He's a freak. You know, I don't know what, how else to say it. The kid could score 50. And he's very capable of doing that just about any time. But, you know, you can tell he's special. Hey, family on three. One, two, three, family. I, I, I thought he was good, but I never saw him becoming this big. Get me high! Get me high! Oh, he's so good. 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 He's My name is Frances Perry and I'm the mayor of Gate City, Virginia. I've been here my whole life and I, I love this little hometown. I would just describe it as a friendly little small town USA. We are located at the gap of two mountains here. They talked about it being the gate to the west, so they called it Gate City. We're mainly a sports-minded. We go from one sport to another and then the crowd goes with them, win or lose. I graduated in 1993 and uh, 20 years later here I am. It's been a really, really nice gig for me for the last 15 years. We have good kids uh, who play hard and come from good families. You know, in wintertime it's cold and not a lot to do. Folks like to come out to the game. Max, pretty much the draw. Uh, for us right now. When I tell guys where I'm from and stuff, they usually laugh. It puts another chip on my shoulder to kind of make a name for myself and make a name for my city. Mac, as a little kid, was it seemed like he was always a football player. His dad played at Virginia Tech, and an outstanding athlete his dad was, and his whole family are outstanding athletes. I had a brother, uh, Seth McClung, who played for the Tampa Bay Devil Rays uh, and for the Milwaukee Brewers. Our daughter, who played high-level soccer, and then with Mac, uh, they both had this drive that they wanted to, to be athletes. Seventh grade, I kind of just fell in love with all the swag about basketball, all the, all the gear, the crossovers, the mixtapes, and all that. I remember sitting down in the basement with my dad, and I, I looked him in the eye, and I said, As determined as a seventh grader had ever said anything, I think, in his life, he says, I'm gonna play basketball. I, I don't wanna be good, I wanna be great. From then on, we just, we worked out harder than anybody I know. Every day, I, I go in the gym, like on a non-game day, I'll be in the gym two to three times a day. I'll be watching other people's highlights, still in their moods, just doing whatever I can to kind of get to that next level in endurance, the, even when it comes to stretching and recovery, and handle, shot, I just try to work with them all around game more than anybody. You know, I believe I need to work more on being a true point guard and kind of getting my others involved and feeding my big men. That's what I think I need to get better at. He really strikes me as like more of a Darren Davis uh, type. He can really get off the floor. He can really handle it, tight spaces. He can change speeds pretty well. He can create his own shot, create enough separation to get his own shot off. You can tell when you watch him the hours that he's put into his game. He's got a gym in his house. He does all these crazy type of drills. He's worked at it for years and years on that explosion. It's really paid off for him only being six foot two. I mean, that's not that tall. And he's got almost a 48 inch vertical. So you add all that together and you got a freak show. He is a white kid. You just don't see him at his height doing those type of things that he's able to do with a basketball. Don't go get popcorn in the middle of the quarter. I, you're going to miss it. <laughs> I try not to watch any of the reaction videos or anything like that, but you know, just everything started blowing up a little bit. We were um, actually in Vegas, and I saw like a worker run out of his store, and he was like, "You, Mac McClung," and I was like, "That's that's crazy." Like people know me like from almost everywhere. Oh! I remember him looking at me and saying, Dad, you think I'm gonna dunk when I get to high school? You think I can go between my legs? I'm, I'm looking at this little kid. He probably weighed 
probably 75 pounds, maybe 85 pounds and 5'7". And, and I said, son, you're going to be able to go between your legs. When you get to high school, I promise you. One thing I believe people disrespect on a game is I'm, I'm a six foot kid, I'm from a small town and they think I don't play any competition. You know, rankings, uh, it is what it is. You know, I feel very disrespected, but at the same time, I'm not gonna let that, you know, affect me in any way. It's, it's not something that's gonna decide if I be successful or not. He's not afraid if you're Zion or if you're the guy from Y Central. I mean, he wants to play you both. You know, ask the other five stars that he's played, you know, if you ask Jam Fam if they think he's a, a two star or whatever. He's got handles. He's very quick with the rock. His, his first step is very explosive. He can get by his initial defender pretty much every time. He's got a nice little jumper and obviously his, his swagger, and he wants to win. I became familiar with Mac really this past spring during AAU uh, on the team loaded team. And, you know, I think my first impressions are obviously how good of an athlete he is and how good of a leaper he is and, and the way that he could make plays and transition. Most people don't know I played on the number one team in the country over the summer. And, you know, I just, I don't really have nothing to say to him, but just wait. I've coached a lot of kids, watched a lot of basketball, I've done this for 25 years. Mac is a top 100 player. I think he's a top five point guard in the nation. I think in two years they're going to say, how we miss this guy? It was National Signing Day for high school athletes in basketball, baseball, golf, and cross country. We'll begin in Gate City where star Blue Devil player Matt McClung made it official this afternoon when he signed a national letter of intent with Georgetown. The six foot guard who can jump out of the building had over 30 offers. Georgetown, of course, is coached by basketball legend Patrick Ewing. There was definitely a lot of people that came at me trying to go to a prep school and things like that and said, you know, it'd be so much better for me, which I believe the competition would be great to play against. But I, I'm just really big on loyalty and, you know, they've given me so much here and they've, you know, treated me so well. So I just wanted to kind of give back when I had this final year. You know, a state championship to Gate City would mean everything. Like, it'd be, it'd almost be something off our back because we've been a part of this culture and we've seen everybody go and not be able to get it. So we want it more than anything. If we were able to win a state title, uh, it would certainly be the cherry on top of the Sunday. You know, it, it would be really nice. But, you know, we're going to miss him as a person. He signs all the autographs that kids want to sign. He told me one time that when he was young, he was at a, a certain well-known athlete in our area. He was at a little signing that he had, and he was in the back of the line. When he got up there, the athlete stopped signing, and uh, he didn't get a signature, and so that always hurt him. He said, I'll never leave one. Makes me almost teary-eyed. Uh, Max said one thing he wants to make it for this community, and those little kids that wait in line, he's, he wants to make it for them as much as of course for himself most, but he really wants to do something for Gate City. And that uh, that means a lot to me as a parent and, you know, as a teacher at Gate City. And, and I think the community uh, is 100% behind him. They want to see him go as far as he can. And, you know, that's the reason why they'll be at Georgetown next year. Because uh, Mac backed them and, you know, and they back him. So, you know, it's, it's everything.